This is showing speed controls. And this makes more precise use much easier. Using the view or back button. Axis lock with menu or the start button can help in certain areas where the joystick is locked to either the X axis horizontally or the Y axis vertically. And just press again to get more control. Extra switches plugged in will give you extra controls. Uh, X here is drag. And other controls include LB for spacebar, RB for tab, LT, the left trigger for backspace, and hold it for delete, and so on. Uh, and you can test these in a notepad. So if I open I put the notepad. If I plug the switch into LB, I should get a space bar. Uh, LT for delete. And hold for repeated delete. Additionally the D-pad gives some extra quick navigation. Left and right pages up and down and up takes you to the top of the document and down takes you to the end. Joyter Key will also work with lots of other controllers, such as the Game Control Mixer. Here yeah, I can change the mode using the joystick, fast mode or slow mode. I can adjust the axis and then go back to control with the mouse. With the game control mixer, a lot of these extra controls are available all on the stick if needed. And the GCM100 gives a range of switch options, including spacebar and tab. Left click, as is this one here. To download JoyToKey, you need to go to oneswitch.org.uk. Scroll down to the library and then scroll down again to JoyToKey. This will then give you three links to download. Choose the second one for the mouse emulator if you wish. You can also view the instructions there. Save it as a file on your desktop or wherever you wish to put it. Shut down your browser and then right click and extract the zipped folder so you can get at all the files. Here you can see the instructions. Just double click on those and assuming you've got Adobe Reader installed you should be able to read it no problems. Please do as there's very useful information there um, especially regarding playing games. Then you might like to send it 
as a shortcut to your desktop. So right click and send as a desktop create shortcut item. Then you can close that down, delete the old zipped folder. You don't need that anymore. Then right click on the joy to key icon and run as an administrator. Otherwise, joy to key won't work in things like the on screen keyboard. It's really important to remember that. If there's an alert, just click on that, click yes, and then you're away.